Hello and welcome back to a new Pokemon Showdown team building session. This time we are building a team around Toucan and conveniently nicknamed Tuca, gonna be the Rainbow Bird right there. And I haven't got a set in mind for this Pokemon, but it's gonna have Beak Blast, I can assure you of that, because this move is actually kind of unique and I kind of like it. One thing I am going to say before we get into the team builder though, is I am completely out of set ideas for a lot of Pokemon. So if you guys do have any Pokemon you want to see a team built around or anything like that, or you want to give me a gimmick set to try around with in 7th gen, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm going to be looking at them pretty intensely. I'm, I'm going to be staring right into that set soul and being like, I want that set. So, that being said, I'm, I'm completely like off my 7th gen grind. Now, this is going to be the last Pokemon from 7th gen that I really want to get out of the way. And that's because Beak Blast has a very interesting effect, as I was saying. And that is, it's always negative whatever priority. I don't even know what, how negative it is. It's probably like negative 6 priority or whatever. And it burns the, the opponent if they attack with a physical move. So, that's pretty good. It has to be a contact physical move as well, but... That's fine. So we can burn opposing Pokemon and then hit them with a base 100 flying type move with no negatives. Other than obviously being low priority, but this Pokemon isn't particularly fast anyway. So we basically get a burn and a lot of damage in the same turn. So it's a very useful move if you play it right. Other than that, this Pokemon doesn't have too much that it really has going for it. It's got, it's got a good ability and skill link. I put skill link to the ability because that's generally what we're going to be running, because it does have a couple of moves to benefit from it quite nicely, like Bullet Seed, for example, and Rock Blast. They end up being really strong moves with, like, base 125 power. So, powerful moves. Does have a very respectable attack stat of 120 attack, so I mean, that's Staraptor's attack stat, and Staraptor is a powerful Pokemon. Admittedly, Staraptor is more powerful because, you know, Choice Band, Reckless, Double Edge, stuff like that. But still, this Pokemon is very, very powerful. The downside is it's not fast. So we kind of have to mix in some bulk, but we'll see how that goes. As for our final move, we are going to run Roost, I believe. Just so we can try and get something going with Beak Blast burning. Then we can Roost up, hopefully be able to store something out while dealing with damage with Bullet Seed and stuff like that. Who knows? We'll see how that goes. So max health, max attack looks like the way to go. But I think I'm going to slightly split our attack and defense. And my reasoning for this is, generally, we're going to want to use Beak Blast against physical attackers to get any hits. With a physical move, they're going to get burned, and that's how we're going to go from there. So, generally, I want a little bit more defense. We are the tankiest of Pokemon overall, so that little bit of defense will hopefully come in useful. And we're also going to run a Citrus Berry just for that first turn. We get that little extra bit of health and make sure that we can live after we burn them with Beak Blast or whatever. This, this should work. Obviously, I've not tried it myself, because this is still the team building being made, but it does seem like quite a nice set idea. So, that out of the way, we have our two cannon, and that is weak to rock, ice, and electric. With an immunity to ghost, which, I mean, that's something, and an immunity to ground, so that's something as well. Generally, we're going to be looking for something that resists electric, ice, and rock, though. And to get rid of electric and rock in the same one, we can just take a ground type, we can get immunity to electric, we can resist rock, we will pick up another ice weakness immediately, but that's fine. As long as our other core, preferably our specially defensive core, gets something to resist ice, we should be fine to take any ice beams that might be laying around. So, we can use any Pokebank Pokemon, because I am running Pokebank UU. I am enjoying using Pokebank, because I'm kind of tired of just using 7th Gen Pokemon alone. You may have noticed from my previous team builders, but I'm kind of tired of that. So instead, we're just going to take something like Hippowdon. Gliscor could also be good. But Gliscor is neutral to rock, whereas Hippowdon resists rock. Hippowdon's only weak to water, grass, and ice. So that's kind of nice if we pick up a water type. Because then we just have to worry about grass. And two cannon resists grass. So you know what? That that can be good. That can be good. That looks like a nice freeway call go going on if we pick up a water type over here. So we can run Rocky Helmet on you. Rocky Helmet is also something we could run on two cannon, but I do want that extra little bit of health. Uh, we could also run the Figgy Berry if we want that extra health. Citrus is more reliable, Figgy, if it procs, is a lot more health back. 
so we're running Figgy Berry, you know what, we're risky, we're real, we're doing it, okay, that will, that will be absolutely fine. As for her Powdon, at the moment I'm going to give it Sand Force rather than Sand Stream, bear with me here, I know it sounds weird, but we don't have anything else that really works well with the Sandstorm yet, so if we pick things up that do well in Sandstorm, then we'll obviously change it back to Sand Stream. But for the time being, we will just run a nice Slack Off, we can run Stealth Rock on this thing, we can run Toxic, and we can run up... Topsy Turvy? What did I just type? What did I type? I was going for Toxic. Oh, Topsy Turvy comes up before Toxic. Oh, I did not know that now. Okay. We are not running to Tip. I can't say it. Topsy Turvy Powered On. I don't know why I struggle so much to say Topsy Turvy. Okay. And we can also run Earthquake. Just so we aren't completely taunted out, it is a nice thing to have. We can run max HP, max defense, like this set obviously recommends, because that is realistically what this is going to do. A little bit of a toxic staller, but it's fine, it can do its job, that's all I'm after. Now, we said we wanted a water type, especially defensive Pokemon. So, we go to water type, we search by special defense, we see Wishy Washy Skull, which is not good defensively, because it has no HP. A Raquinid is actually pretty good. A Raquinid is actually pretty good. It has a nice special defense stat. It can really pack a punch as well. Doesn't have a weakness to grass, which is kind of nice. I'm liking the not having a weakness to grass, but I'm just not really feeling the Araquanid right now, and I'm not really sure why, I'm just not. Um, we could take, like, Tentacruel. Tentacruel is kind of fast, kind of bulky. I kind of like it. I don't know. Empoleon, four times resists ice. Not weak to grass. Hits a little bit harder. Has a nicer defense stat overall. I think we'll take an Empoleon. I, th I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. This might be changed out later, but for the time being, we're going to stick an Empoleon on the team. We're going to give you leftovers because you have no recovery, which does kind of suck. We'll see how that goes. Um, we don't need to fight because you're going to be a special attacker. You're going to have Skull. You're going to have Ice Beam. Um, do you need anything else? We could, we're just going to run those two moves. That's all we need. We don't need any other moves. We can run Stealth Rock on this rather than have Powered On. Um, we could run Whirlwind on Hip Powered On and then have Stealth Rock on this Pokemon instead. Seeing as we have the option, we could also run Flash Cannon for an extra stab, but we are going to be defensive, not offensive. We could just run Protect. We really could just run the Protect. Running Protect in singles is a little bit weird, I'm going to be honest. You don't see too many people do it, but it would give us an extra turn of leftovers. We are running Toxic on our team, so it might have usage. I think we'll just run Protect. You know what? I don't run Protect very often. I don't really know if anyone runs Protect and Singles anymore, but we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see if it's still viable. Let's test these things. Uh, we're going to put four points into a special attack, especially defensive. Empoleon, nice and good to go. We're going to call you Pablo. Um, Powton, you are 100% being called Gloria. You are Gloria through and through. That name will not change for you. Hey, that rhymed. That was, that was kind of nice. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Um, I don't know why the shiny sprite isn't coming through properly or anything like that, but female Hippowdon should be like more of a black color, so let's hope that that comes through. Uh, shiny Empoleon, you look horrible. Shiny Toucanon, you're beautiful. So, yep, that's our core. Now, we do not have a very fast team so far. We do not have any speed on our team whatsoever. So, let's just sort through speed stats and see what's really good. Mega Mewtwo Y. I like the fact that that's apparently viable in UU because it's unreleased and has no usage yet. That's kind of funny. That's actually beautiful. I like that. Although, no, that's unreleased. We can't use that Marshadow. I want it. Uh, what is a fast Pokemon we can stick on our team and really do well with? Uh, are we weak to anything in particular? We're weak to... Nothing in particular. Obviously, ice is a little... We don't really want to pick up a third ice weakness. Other than that, we should be fine. Uh, so overall, we can pick up realistically any type, we just want something that synergizes well. Maybe a Mega? What Mega can we get? What fast Megas are there? 
that are actually available, because I know a lot of Megas aren't available. Mega Absol, Mega Aerodactyl. Um, Mega Glalie's kind of fast, but not great. Mega Sharpedo, I don't really want a Mega Water type. So that leaves us with like Mega Absol, or Mega Aerodactyl. And Mega Aerodactyl is weak to ice, so we're going to take a Mega Absol. I mean, we get the Magic Bounce, it's kind of good. We can run Justified in case we can get that uh, attack boost, that would be great. We can run... Do we want Sucker Punch on this thing? That's the question. Do we want Sucker Punch on this thing? Because we can run Sucker Punch. Or we can have Night Slash. Uh, we definitely want Play Rough. Play Rough is an amazing move to have on this thing. Psycho Cut wouldn't be bad. Why would we run Night Slash when we have Knock Off? I don't know. I'm not really feeling the Sucker Punch right now. I feel like we could run other moves. Like, we can have the Psycho Cut. What does Psycho Cut hit for us that we can't hit? What does what resists Dark? Other Dark types. So, Play Rough covers that. We also don't hit... Wow, Dark Coverage is actually not that bad. Dark Coverage is kind of nice right now. It doesn't hit Fairy. Play Rough hits that for Neutral. Uh, do you get anything like Poison Jab? Fairly certain this thing doesn't get Poison Jab, but... Oh, Poison Jab would be lovely right now. It would actually be lovely. So, Dark Fairy, are they the only real types that can stop us? Oh, and Fighting, but Player Off hits that. So, realistically, Dark and Fairy are actually kind of nice together. So, overall, you know, I don't feel the need for any of that. We can take Shadow Claw. Because I know Ghost and Fairy are synergized perfectly at the moment, but then Dark covers the same kind of things. I'm not really sure, is what I'm trying to say. Now, we could just take something powerful and just go and, like, slap on a Mega Horn or a Stone Edge or a Super Power. Or we could take a nice, reliable Psycho Cut. Is Rock Coverage going to be useful in this Pokemon? That's what I'm trying to work out. You know what? I don't really see a lot that's going to be particularly useful other than... I think we're going to be spamming Knock Off and Play Rough most of the time. So we may as well take something that's going to see some usage. So we'll run the... We'll run the superpower, I think, just for, like, a very, very strong move in case we need it. I don't think it's really going to synergize the best with our, like, our coverage so far. But we'll slap it on there just in case we have, like, a strong rock-type defensive wall come in or something like that. And that'll be good. So, we can make you shiny because the red Mega Absol looks really nice. And we can start looking towards... Something else that's fast, because we do have one fast attacker, we have a lot of physical at the moment, I'd like a special attacker, let's sort for a special attack first. See if there's any strong special attackers that we might want to pick up. Like Volcarona, that'd be kind of good. That's resistance to ice. Is there a negative picking up this Volcarona? Hang on, wait, whoa, that's actually kind of nice, actually, I don't mind that. Uh, weak to flying, don't mind that. Weak to rock, we don't mind that too much. Uh, we only have one weakness to rock, we have a weakness to water, but we don't care about that. Yeah, this doesn't seem too bad overall. I would not mind picking up a sweeping Volcarona. We don't have anything that sets up yet, so a Quiver Dancer is act actually amazing. Actually amazing to have. As long as there's no Oricorios popping out, this should be fine. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see Oricorio. I could be wrong if we do see Oricorio and this... If we get bodied by an Oricorio, I am going to be so mad, but we should be fine. So we can run the Fiery Dance to Bug Buzz. I like the Fiery Dance chance to raise our special attack. That's actually lovely. And I guess Giga Drain. Giga Drain or Roost. Giga Drain or Roost would be good. Um, fire and Bug. What do Fire and Bug not hit together? I mean, we could just run Giga Drain. We could just run the Giga Drain. Giga Drain allows us to hit any war types that come in whilst getting a lot of our health back. So I think we're just going to run the Giga Drain and we're going to make you max special attack, max speed, modest nature. Do I want modest nature? Do we just want to make you hit hard or do we want to give you a little bit of bulk so that you can make sure you get that quick dance up? I think we're just going to give you... First of all, we're going to give you the max speed possible. I'm just feeling like base 100 speed. There's a lot of base 100 speed Pokemon. I'd like that out speed in case we don't get the quick dance. And as for your item, we don't have a Z move yet. So, Grassium Z is definitely an option. 
100% an option to catch off war types that come in and aren't expecting it. So that actually seems like a really nice thing to have. We will take the Bloom Doom right there. We will look for a new Pokemon, and this is looking a lot nicer than I expected. So, overall, we have a little bit of weakness to ice, a little bit of weakness to water. Ice and water types, I wouldn't mind another check to them, but overall, what do we want? What do we really want to round out a team? We Something with some coverage, maybe? Something that can maybe take a hit? I don't really know. I don't really know what we're looking for here. We could take so many Pokemon. We could take, like... What aren't we weak to? We have one weakness to Fairy. Dragon type could be fun. We don't have a Fighting type. We don't have a Fighting type. We don't have a Fighting or a Dragon type. And there's a Pokemon that's always in the back of my mind because I want to like it for its typing. But it's not that great. And that's Komoo. And it might not feel like it fits with the team particularly well. But I really want to give it another chance. It is weak to ice though, do I really want to give it another chance? I don't know, I just, it didn't work well for me in my experience. You might love this Pokemon and do absolutely fine with it. In my opinion, it's been really bad, so... Mm, maybe we'll just take a fighting type. Maybe we will just take any old fighting type. I don't really know what yet. Maybe something that can be choice scarfed with some, um, something with, like, U-turn. Maybe a Mian Shao. Infernate. Mian Shao is looking like a pretty good Pokemon to pick up. I like the idea of a Mian Shao. Yeah, I think we're going to take Choice Scarf and Yen Shao for our last Pokemon. So Choice Scarf, yes. We're going to give you Regenerate Us, because why wouldn't we as extra health back? That's great. Uh, we can run High Jump Kick. Uh, we can run Knock Off. And we can run Poison Jab, I guess? Do we want Poison Jab for Fairies? Well, at the moment, Fairies completely wallless. So yeah, yeah, we do. We want Poison Jab for Fairies. We want you Max Attack, Max, max Speed. Actually, I'm going to run you Adamant Nature, which... It might seem strange, considering I'm running a Scarf to obviously get the most speed, but we're going to run out of nature, because base 105 speed is ridiculous as it is, so that should be outspeeding plenty of things with Choice Scarf already. I don't feel too worried. Um, we are going to call you Mia. We are going to call Volcarona. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's let's just spam some layers together and see what we end up with. Volara. I don't even hate it. I don't even hate it. And Absol... I, I like Absol's name. I'm gonna be honest. Absol is a nice name. I'm just gonna call you Absol. Is that unoriginal? That's unoriginal. That's really unoriginal. That's a really bad name right there. Oh dear, that's a bad name right there. But overall, I think that's gonna be the team. Again, I feel like I've made this team really quickly. I'm not sure if I want to go with Figgy Berry or Citrus Berry. That's one thing that's still in the back of my mind. Um... No, I already said this. We're going with Figgy Berry, because we are real. We are doing this. So we have a Mega, we have a Zed move, we have a Choice Scarf, we have a Defensive Core, and we have the Star of the Show. Realistically, that's like... That's every slot filled for what I want. This should be a perfectly fine team. So if you guys have enjoyed this team builder, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to leave your set suggestions in the comments down below, and without further ado, bye!